Oh, look at that. Who's a good boy? Do not try this at home, guys. <laughs> My Walden people, welcome to the wild world of Farley. Let's get it, stay wildin'. What's up my Walden people? Welcome to another episode of Wild World of Farley with your shooter, your boy Farley, aka Dr. Wild F. My Walden people, you may have been wondering, where has Farley been? I haven't gone anywhere, I've just been working. I started a new job and I'm enjoying it so far. Apart from that, your boy been working now. Take a, take a look at this transformation, woo wee. Guys, comment below and let me know if you guys want to see some, I guess, workout videos, some workout advice, something on my channel that has to do with working out apart from fish. Yeah, guys, comment below, let your boy know. Apart from that, my wild people, follow me on my social media, follow me on Facebook, like the page, Wild World of Farley. Apart from that, Instagram, Wild World of Farley. You see, you see a little common trend? TikTok, Wild World of Farley. Search me up and holla at your boy. All right, my one people, so on today's video, you may be wondering, what are we gonna focus on? We're gonna go focus on the tanks inside because it is hot. It is hot, 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 guys. And as you guys can see, as I'm talking, I'm sweating bullets. So we're gonna take a look at Quasi, that's right, his name is Quasi, the Phantom Redtail, and some of the other fish I have inside. So enough of me talking. Let's get right into this, of course. Let's get it. Hey, look who came to join the party. And on another video, we'll do something with this. With this pool pond, clean it up so you guys can see the fish in there. As well as the fish in here. Woo! And we feed the duckies. Look at that little youngin. It's all grown up now. Alright, my Walden people, take a look at this right over here. What you guys see right there are Dorado catfish. That's right, got these from my boy Rod. Look at the colors on that Dorado catfish, guys. This is the big kahuna right over here. This is the massive one that's been kind of bullying the smaller one. If you guys didn't know, the smaller one is actually from my boy Joey Slam. Oh, look at his nose. He's been pretty much crashing and running into the tank. So we're going to put him into a bigger tank. And we're going to put this massive one into a bigger tank and have him join the Phantom Red Tail Catfish. Let's get this show on the road and let's do this moving process. So what I've been doing right now is doing some water changes, so don't even worry about the, the buckets behind me. That's not the focus. The focus is the Dorado Catfish. Um, yeah, this net's not going to do it. So we're going to try to trap the Dorado Catfish in here and transfer them over. And this will also allow us to take a nice look at them so we can see the size comparison side by side. Alright, wish me luck. I have no idea how I'm going to do this. Bamboo. More bamboo and... Let's chop the small one. Mm. Got one of them. Okay, how do I get the second one? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'll be happy with one. Ooh, you gotta be careful. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. And they're, oh, they're splashing and going crazy. Ooh, okay. Relax, relax. As you guys can see, the one to the right is significantly bigger than the one to the left. The Ronald Catfish. These things are going to be monsters. About two to three feet long. And when they do get that big, they're going to be in Olympia. All right, so my boy Joey Swain is behind the camera, and he's the one that's going to get the smaller one. And we'll keep the monster over here. Heck yeah, dude. That's crazy that that thing's an alpha like that, right. growing to be a legit river monster. Shoulder. Shoulder. Oh! I got it with my Ooh. Dun, da, da, da. <laughs> I saved it with my <laughs> Okay. Do not try this at home, guys. <laughs> a little bit more water for him. Look at the colors on that. That thing's insane. All right, they're Gucci. This big guy, we're gonna transfer him. Sweet. Okay. Looks like he just wants to jump right up. Kinda. Of. I'll just give your other guys some, some more water. Right. 
Are this guy's ready to go to his new home. Kind of. Almost, almost. And take the leap. Yeah, yeah. The leap of faith. Leap of faith. Oh, look at the colors of that thing right there. It has much more room to move around and just be happy. That's gorgeous. That thing's gonna be massive. This is a pure evil, bro. It's so sick. It's a beautiful deck. That's absolutely insane, bro. Crispy. 100%. Alright, my wild people, we still have more fish to move, but I'm tired. So we'll continue this another day. Probably tomorrow. Stay wild. <laughs> and just like that, we dropped some shrimp. And now we wait. Oh, look at that. Who's a good boy? <laughs> Alright, guys. So you saw the movement that happened a couple of days ago. So far, they've been adjusting well to this tank. As you guys can see, I put some rosy reds in there. There were 20. Now there's about five. So this guy right here, take a look at him. That stomach thick. So he's been eating really well. That's my boy. That guy over there, I don't think he's been eating. So I'll drop some food for him. We'll see what happens. I got some, some shrimp, some nice shrimp. Just drop. I was going straight to him. Oh, that was actually perfect. You know, didn't even plan that. He spooked. Drop some more. Okay, that's obviously way too big. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> it happened. And I'll drop one right over here. Let's see if we'll capture them eating some shrimp. Oh, come on. Uh. Come on. That's not it. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 and... Nope. False alarm, guys. False alarm. Let me drop this right here. Come on, come on, come on, and... Yeah, yeah. Oh... He's obviously full, because he wants nothing to do with it. Alright, my one people, that was a fail. So let's go move Quasi. <laughs> Alright, so my boy Joey Slam, he decided to name this fish right here Quasian. Quasi's a fitting name because of his hunchback. So guess what, guys? His name is officially Quasi. So I introduce to you Quasi, short for Quasimodo, which is my... <laughs> <laughs> my eyes are all over the place. His eyes actually go all over the place also, but he's my my humpback dragon pufferfish, also known as King Kong pufferfish. Wow. He's so beautiful. But he's currently in a 20 gallon tank. He was acclimating. He was just I was just making sure he had no parasites. I was just taking care of him. He's been there for about two days, so he's healthy. Now it's time to bring him to a larger tank. Oh, still have some shrimp in there. <laughs> I almost forgot about that. I'm gonna try to catch him in here because I do not want him to puff. It's gonna be easier said than done. Actually, it's gonna be really easy. Okay, a lot easier than I thought. Way too easy. Oh yeah. Mm. All right, guys, let's transport him. <laughs> All right, guys, take a closer look at Quasi. Quasi is gorgeous. That's a gorgeous fish right there. Look at his eyes, those orange and black eyes. And it's crazy how he can move them, like, separate directions. Yeah, we're looking at it right now. Yeah, he's looking at you, he's looking at me, he's looking at the subscribers. <laughs> what do you gotta say? <laughs> Wait. Come on, come on, don't be shy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I appreciate you, Quasi. Alright guys, so I'm probably gonna close the blinds real quick. We can get a nicer look. Um... I'm free. Welcome to your new home, boy. Oh, he looks so much better in here. Bigger tank. Normally, these fish require at least a 55 gallon tank, but for now, a 32.5 will get the job done. I know he's hungry. I haven't fed him in two days. Look at that hunchback. He's literally Quasimodo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> really is. All right, guys, let's get some bloodworms and see if he's hungry. <laughs> Are you hungry, honey? You ugly boy. So we got some jumbo, some jumbo blood worms. That's probably a better angle. Some jumbo blood worms and yeah, just quasi. I'm gonna use my handy dandy Fluval app to turn on the brightness. If I said, let there be light. Ooh, oh, that's what I'm talking about. Wow, that was cool. I'm gonna drop it in right now and oh, missed. 
Well, yeah. let him do the rest. Right, look at that. Zeus is jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Zeus is not. He's not happy about that. <laughs> I think he's hungry that quickly after being transported. Yeah, he'll eat. That was a quick transport. He barely even realized what happened. Okay. The food went right by him. Yet another fail. <laughs> <laughs> Strip pellets. Figure eights love them. Down. <laughs> My boy Zeus. Probably needs a fiddle crap soon. Here he has one in his mouth. He's trying to go out to the second I'm one. Hungry, hungry hippo out here. <laughs> Look at these guys. They're out here fighting. They're, Zeus is pissed because. Or maybe they're in love. What? <laughs> Look. It's weird. Look at them. Yeah, it is a little bit weird. <laughs> Exposed. Look. The look. Uh, so that's why oh, Plus no. is low, I guess. Distracted. <laughs> Distracted right now. Yeah, he's, he can't focus on his meal because he's focusing on. Zeus. Ooh, well look at Zeus show and tail. I'm sure <laughs> this isn't Zeus set. <laughs> oh, wait, okay. That's enough of that, Zeus. I don't think it's enough. Said. Okay, we got a video to make. We try to get Quasi. Quasi's eyes are Isn't it both looking the wait, same wait, wait, direction. Did you see that? Yeah. Quasi's hump just got bigger. <laughs> Alright. Time to feed the arrow. Oh, arrow already knows what's going on. Oh my god! Okay. Just bash his face in. Okay. Oh! Okay. Um, yeah, he's about pond ready now. Yeah, we're not playing games with this guy. Next episode, he's going into a pond. All right, my one people, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Guys, don't forget, follow me on Facebook. Add me on Instagram. Follow me as I go about my day. All right, my wild people, on this episode, we focused on a couple of takes. Some of the critters I uh, have inside the house. Next episode, next video, we're going to focus on the pool ponds. As you guys can see, the arowana is ready to go. So I got to make sure these pool ponds are jump proof. So until next time, stay wildin'. Hey, hey, you viewer. Before you go, I want to say thanks for watching. Apart from that, if you haven't already, subscribe, give me a like, and of course, stay wildin'.